Welcome to the Fat Girl Funeral Podcast, where you will learn to bury the thoughts that are keeping you overweight and build weight loss habits for life so you can start living your best self. Here's your host and author of the best selling book, Fat Girl Funeral, Dr. Angela Tran. All right. Well, welcome to another podcast episode of Fat Girl Funeral. I'm your host, Dr. Angela, and owner of MedFit Medical Weight Loss, where we help busy professionals who are done with dieting actually be done with dieting by addressing the root causes, using my medical expertise, and truly addressing the mindset, bearing the thoughts that are keeping us overweight. And today, to all of you listeners, I have a very, very special guest. She is one of my favorites. I'd like to introduce you to Cindy, who has lost over 140 pounds in the last year. It's been amazing. I can't wait for you guys to listen to her story. I wanted to share, you know, all the blood, sweat and tears and the grit, but also show you guys that it's possible and that we're we're just ready to make everybody healthy. So Cindy, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, again, I am I am so excited to have you on here because uh, just like we were talking about just beforehand, you know, I think the listeners really need to hear, you know, success stories just like you because they have been struggling for, you know, many years, uh, the whole frustration of yo-yo dieting. Uh, you and I know, unfortunately, as we get older, it's not so easy and it's starting to affect our health. So so why don't we just kind of take a deep dive and just describe to us what your situation was like before you met us and just some of the health challenges that made you decide to uh, start thinking about your journey. Uh, with me, I have struggled with, with weight my entire life, um, even from elementary school on. Uh, it's always been an ongoing struggle for me, ups and downs, and could lose the weight. Uh, it always came back. Um, it just was something that I had focused on uh, and could never get a grasp on, uh, could never get it handled. Um, but then as I got older and it got, and I was struggling even more, I just got to the point where it really was affecting my health. Um, I didn't want to do anything. I was just kind of going through the motions of life uh, and not being able to, to live life. Um, so it got to the point where I was like, okay, I, I want to enjoy life. I want to live life and I've got to address this. Um, got to put my, my, myself forward. Um, I'm so thankful that I did. Um, so many underlying health issues that I didn't know were there um, that you helped me out with tremendously. Um, but getting there. Um, now I feel so much better, uh, feeling that I get to live life, but it did take those first steps of, um, figuring out what was going on and addressing the whole picture and not just, um, almost putting a bandaid on it that would work for just a little bit. Um, and then, uh, as soon as I took the bandaid off, everything came right back and bounced back. Gotcha. Well, thank you again. Um, you know, it is a typical story that I hear that many people have been struggling for years and years and obviously tried this and that, you know, what finally triggered you to take a different approach and look for something that's a little bit more advanced than just the typical fad diet? Um, what kind of made you decide to kind of really look at for, for professional help? Um, it, it got to the point where uh, the weight was so high that I finally hit uh, where I did start having health issues um, before, you know, it's okay. I want to, I want to get this weight off. I want to do something, but it had never gotten to the point where, oh my goodness, I'm pre-diabetic. Um, I have other um, issues, anemia, problems with thyroid that, um, that if I don't address, um, it's just going to get extremely worse from here. And I'm going to have to start dealing with other issues other than uh, just the weight and trying to get it off. I, I wanted to make a permanent change that I could enjoy uh, the benefits from going forward. So I could enjoy the remaining part of my life um, so I could live in it and enjoy the future. 
Yes, yes. And we were just talking about a new grandson and he just turned one year old and, you know, we could not have staged this, uh, you know, any better when, you know, you know that your grandson is just going to be growing and being active and you're going to be chasing him around for a long time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was just yesterday I was over uh, watching him and we were having crawling wars and giggling and, uh, <laughs> and it was so great. But I even think about it then. I mean, it's just something I wouldn't have been able to do. I wouldn't be able to I could still enjoy him, but I wouldn't be able to participate with him um, mm -hmm. like I do now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so when you were doing your research, what what made uh, us stand out? Why did you uh, decide to reach out for a consultation with us? Uh, when I first talked to you guys, uh, what really stood out to me was that uh, the program could be customizable to me um, mm -hmm. with meal, meal replacements and stuff. It, it wasn't going to end at a certain point uh, when maybe I wasn't ready for it to end, or maybe I needed a little bit more help here in a certain area or a little less in a different area. And that was something that your group was very open to uh, and was definitely able to address those situations and know that the program was there for me and you were there for, for my needs and you were gonna help me make it to the finish line. Um, to where so many other programs uh, it was a certain amount of time, whether you're done or not, mm -hmm. whether you're uh, ready to do different things, um, which is where I, I, where I kind of failed in the past because I wouldn't be ready to finish or I needed additional help in additional areas um, that I wasn't able to get. So kind of those stepping stones. So that really um, is what appealed to me and also the one-on-one. -on -one, uh, so where I could ask for help where I needed uh, and also have the privacy where I wanted as well. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I, and I know that, uh, you know, again, a lot of our listeners are busy working professionals. And, you know, we were just so grateful that, you know, you really separated time to do this. So how did you, you know, make it fit into your schedule on top of your, you know, your day to day responsibilities? Um, because I, I do too. I'm a working professional. Um, and that's part of the thing too, with me, I could I can dive into work and I can work all day long and not get up from the computer, but I knew that I would have to designate some time um, for myself to make these steps. Um, and I would see, I would talk to you guys every week, see you guys every week. And it was just something that I knew I had to make a priority and it, it did not affect my work life. I worked my schedule around where I needed to fit it in. Um, and that actually worked just fine. Oh, good, um, good. <laughs> yeah, being, um, being able to just, you know, make little flexible um, times to my work schedule, which actually right now uh, with COVID, uh, employers are more willing now than they ever have in the past to let employees, they know that they need to um, focus some on themselves and, and work on their health. So they, they really will be willing to work with you. Yeah, that's good to know. And, you know, obviously COVID has affected our business, but in a positive way where we changed from an office setting to a virtual business, realizing that, um, you know, you need some self-care, but, uh, you know, you can't be driving around all across town either. So meeting, you know, meeting people virtually um, so that you, you know, don't feel like it was such a big time commitment, but that we can really focus on, you know, your mindset and behaviors. And, and uh, I'm excited to just kind of dive in. What, um, what would you say were just a few aha moments during the program that made you finally realize, wow, I'm actually going to, you know, conquer this weight struggle that I've had for years uh, to the point where today, now that you're doing great and, you know, and uh, maintaining all of your success. So uh, what kind of lessons can you share with us that you learned that um, our listeners could, you know, uh, get benefit from? Uh, I think in the very beginning, um, it was, you know, I had so many doctors that I go and I say, you know, I'm really not feeling good. And the response was, oh, just lose weight, just lose mm -hmm. weight um, with no tools or anything like that. So connecting with your group, finding out that there was some underlying medical issues. Um, so addressing that first, uh, and then I was able to start feeling better. And then baby steps, um, just small accomplishments really, um, really helped me uh, day by day. Uh, the exercise component is a really big release for me um, now. So I think that was big success stories. Uh, 
starting with baby steps. Um, and then even, uh, I think for some other celebrations and stuff where I ended up going out to eat or to a restaurant and planning what I was going to do beforehand. And then uh, I know I was really shocked where I had gone out, I'd planned out what I was going to have, still ate very healthy. And I was amazed, you know, at the end of the week, I still lost weight. And it was just something to me that showed me I can do this. Um, uh, it, it is something that I can do. Um, but before, you know, I had lost all confidence um, and just really didn't know. I really didn't think I could because I had tried and failed so many times. Um, but I think just giving yourself those little rewards and um, knowing that you can. Um, and I think just building on each one, because I think too, with me, I lost so much confidence mm -hmm. over the years uh, that I was even afraid to, to try. Yes. Um, but looking back now, I mean, if you don't try, I mean, it, 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 it can always get worse and it always does, believe me. Um, <laughs> so uh, definitely putting the time in yourself, I think um, it really helps and, and you just build on the little successes. Yes, and I, uh, I, I actually remember very clearly when I first met you, and you know, obviously, I do what I do because I get so excited in seeing who you are today before you do, mm -hmm. and um, honestly, um, you know, you kind of brought the nerd out of me in a good way because it really started with lab work. I mean, we identified some things that were truly in your way. And I wanted to share with you that while you felt the struggle, I wanted to tell you that it wasn't your fault. <laughs> and we truly identified some body chemistry medical things right. that were really keeping you from being successful. But when people don't realize that they need to check underneath, they, they tend to blame themselves, you know, why can't I do this? And, and then it becomes this unnecessary, um, you know, again, the blame, shame, mm -hmm. self negative talk, which is right. why we're doing, you know, this podcast and, you know, the, uh, the book fat girl funeral on Amazon that I wrote is just, if we really clean up the stories and identify what's true and what's not, and then pave the way to success. So I'm sure the listeners are dying to know, like, how in the world did you like, just go all the way? How did you stay, you know, persistent, stay motivated to really like, lose, you know, almost another human being right. <laughs> off your body to just, right. you know, transform your life. Um, just give, uh, give, you know, the listeners some insight on just how to, you know, make it the long game. Yeah, uh, I think in the beginning, um, it, definitely the, the first couple of weeks were really hard, uh, just kind of uh, got through those, but then you start seeing uh, the results um, you start seeing, hey, this is really working. It's it's hard, um, and I've made sacrifices, but look what I'm what I'm benefiting from, um, and and just building on the the little rewards uh, that it is it is working. Um, I think also to the commitment because I committed with you guys uh, for a year, um, so I'm like, you know what? I've committed to this. I'm going to follow through. Uh, I'm really going to do this. But then I just started. Then after the first month, second month, um, started feeling so much better um, that I just kept wanting to move forward um, and, and wanting to keep going. Um, yes. Like excited to see the end, excited to see the transformation, um, excited for the new health, um, excited for all the things that I get, that I would be able to participate in life. Um, because so much with, with me, I felt like I was going through life, but mm -hmm. not really participating. Um gotcha just not being comfortable in my own skin um, yeah. and just going through the motions, but not participating. So I, I think it's just huge to be able to participate in life, um, mm -hmm. even if it's the exercise and the healthy and the hiking and, and that, but just in your day-to-day -day relationships, um, you can focus on um, what's truly happening instead of, oh my goodness, I, I feel horrible in my skin. I don't want to be here. I'm so uncomfortable. You can actually participate in it. And it, it just really helped motivate me uh, just feeling that um, and just wanting to keep going, wanting to be done with it. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you brought that up because I think we, uh, you know, we don't realize that just feeling comfortable 
in our own skin is so valuable because, uh, you know, I don't care what weight you are. I think we all, particularly females, we just look in the mirror and we're so tough on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then being overweight makes it just that more difficult, but it's so freeing when we finally realize, Hey, I'm, I'm here for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, health is not a cosmetic thing. And it just really how you see yourself from inside and out. And uh, you're just like the perfect epitome of just that transformation of just like you mentioned the confidence and, and just, you know, being the Cindy that I've always known you are, but, you know, just the, with the, the health and weight struggles was just keeping you from being who you truly are. Um, so, so now it's, it's cool that, you know, we're, we're here and, um, what, uh, you know, I'm sure that there are plenty of anxious, you know, men and women out there who are, co you know, contemplating on starting their journey. Um, what would you tell them as far as advice in, uh, helping them get started with their own, you know, triumph of weight loss? Um. I'd definitely, you know, go ahead and do it. Uh, go ahead and take those steps. Uh, you'll be happy that you did. Um, the more you wait, it's just that much longer before you can start enjoying and living and participating in your own life. Um, and, you know, I kept, you know, month after month, year after year thinking, oh, it can't get any worse, can't get any worse. But then there was another five pounds, then there was another 10 pounds. Um, and you know, when you, when you finally get started in the program, the scale actually starts going the other direction. Um, mm -hmm. and you actually, the relief that you feel that, um, the positivity, the confidence, um, it's just something that you can't, you can't even, I can't even share how, how great <laughs> it is. So, I mean, just definitely go ahead, put the time and put it, put the time in for yourself, um, because, it will make all the difference in the world. Um, you know, and you, and you put all the steps in, you know, for your children, for your relatives, you'll do anything for them. And, um, but just taking the time for you will pay off um, so much more in the end, because you'll be able to do so many more things with your families and your relatives um, and you get to enjoy them and live in the moment. Absolutely. Well, well, again, Cindy, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Like I said, I hope, you know, it really, you know, puts some inspiration, some motivation, and just showing our listeners there is hope and possibility. And if you do it the right way and start with the mindset, then, you know, anything's possible. So thank you guys again for listening. And uh, like I said, this was yet another triumph success story. And uh, again, Cindy, just thank you so much for reminding us of why we do what we do is because we just we just love you to death. And we, we're just so appreciative that you, you know, really put your best foot forward. And uh, just look at you now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys. Yay!